Hi guys, welcome to Claire's Day. What's good, Giddy? How you feeling this fine, fine, fine day? As you can see, I'm so excited because I'm not alone on my deck. Actually, I'm never alone. But just in case you're wondering, who is this and what deck is she talking about? My name is Claire and you are welcome to Claire's deck. A bit narcissistic, but I know. What I do over here is I ask my guests random hypothetical questions. Never have I ever questions. Would you rather as well? Basically, with the intent of getting to know more about them, more than like Google or any of your search engines care to tell us. Now today, yeah, I'm hanging with an exceptional artist. A lot of us fell in love with him back in 2014. And let's just say he gave us straight bangers back to back. And then he left us. He took a quick break. And I was like, why? He's going to chalet for us here because he hasn't actually done an interview in a minute. And he not only came back to give us an interview, he brought a project as well. Goodies for us. Can you guess who I have on? Let's go on a quick break. When I come back, grab a popcorn or a drink. You can guess as well. When I come back, I'll introduce you who I have on my deck. So do not go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back. Were you able to guess who I'm hanging with? I trust you. You're pretty smart. I know you were able to. I am hanging with, I'm hanging with the one, the only, drummer please. Drummer please. Dicey Baba. What's up, Claire? <laughs> How are you? I'm chilling. You are welcome back to our screens, boy. Thank you. Can you start with an explanation before we even get to anything? Like, where have you been? I've been here. I never left. You know, I've just been in the back working. Mm. Um, working on a lot of stuff recording and stuff yeah preparing the dicey baba for us yeah and working on my structures and you know creating mm. a lot of new music mm. and just getting ready for now okay okay and uh, would you say you're ready for us yeah okay so are you ready <laughs> for me <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for you all I'm right ready for you. okay okay so basically random questions don't even expect me to ask you like what were you doing in five years or something like that i wouldn't do that so get this. What event would you say changed the trajectory of your life? What event? Like what, <clears throat> what thing happened to you in the past that just changed the way your life was going at that point? Mm. I mean, a Could lot be of a things. little decision like changing school or deciding not to play basketball. Or... Um, it's a lot of things. It's hard to pinpoint one thing because um, it's been a lot of events that have sort of like shaped mm. my life. But I think... Um, um, moving back to Nigeria to um, focus on music sort of just changed everything for me. Mm. Um, you know, back then I was I was doing pre med. I was going to go into med school no and way. become a doctor for oh my no dad. No you know how African way. parents are now. Okay. So, um, but then when I decided that I wanted to take music seriously and I moved back, you know, everything changed for me. Mm. And ever since then, you know, that's been my focus. But how did your parents feel when you said you wanted to move back and do music and not medicine? I mean, um, my mom, my mom, you know, she sings as well, and oh. she's a part of a, of a choir. She was a part of a choir when we were younger, mm, and okay. we go to church and, and watch her sing and stuff. Um, so she was always supportive of every decision that I made regarding, you know, music. regarding music. Um, my dad was also like a big fan of music too, so okay. um, they sort of supported it. But, you know, with the plan that I would come back and finish it up. But I just mm. never had the time to go back. Oh, you know? so they kind of expected you to like do medicine yeah. regardless, of, yeah. even though they love music. Yeah, at least graduate with that, you know. But I, I never really had the time to go back. But you know, I still have intentions to. Actually. Okay, yeah. okay. You would have had our own Doctor Dice. Yeah. But wouldn't have had Otedela with the money. So I think I'll pick Otedela with the money. <laughs> would you rather get a face tattoo of something you've chosen, or a small tattoo on your chest that someone else chose, that I chose? I know you probably trust me. Let's say you're up. <laughs> so the question is if I would get a tattoo that I yeah. chose. So would you face? rather get a face tattoo of something that you picked mm -hmm. or a little tattoo on your chest of something that I picked? I don't know. I've never really been able to like settle with the idea of actually getting a tattoo. Wait, you don't have one? Yeah. Why does this seem like you do? I don't know. I don't know. Everyone like... always says that. It's crazy. I, I don't have a tattoo yet. So Why? I don't is know. it like a personal thing? I don't know. I just never really thought it was like necessary. Um, mm, pain, or you're just afraid that you're scared. It's not even that. I just, I just never. 
like even my piercings like i just i just got piercings recently like what? when i did um this is work that i did with this spanish guy called katie kane mm. um hostelo piso i did that like three years ago and that's when i that's just got piercings. just three years ago <laughs> yeah why in my head i just thought dice had like a bunch of tattoos and yeah, piercings you just covered crazy. it up yeah i don't I you don't sell the tats. persona I you, do. You 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 trick us into thinking you have tattoos. You That's act crazy. like a guy with tattoos. That's crazy. How do guys with tattoos act? How girls with big bums act? Like, How? I mean, you do you know. have tattoos? I have just one, just this one. Oh, that's nice. That's a cross. Yeah. So what influenced that? My beliefs. Oh my god, is Christian? he interviewing me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's, <laughs> fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh yes, yeah. I am. Yeah. And like. Just the beliefs, and it's a it's a whole deeper conversation. I'm gonna like start getting to. I okay. will not talk about a tattoo with the body, okay. but I feel like you give me the persona of a guy that has tattoos. You know how a woman with a big bum walks when she enters into the room. I don't know. There's just something. I don't have a big bum, but you I don't? act like a woman that do exactly. That's why you think I do, because I trick you guys. That's exactly what you're doing too. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm not against tattoos though. I really yeah, like tattoos, but just I, I just never got into it. Yeah. No, it took me a lot. I got my tattoo and my piercing the same day. Yeah. I couldn't pierce the second ear. I was like, what are people doing? What's this? Yeah. Voluntary hell? I'm not doing that anymore. But, so, which would you rather do? You would get the small tattoo on your chest? I mean... No, maybe that. Maybe get a small yeah. one on my chest. Okay, because you have to pick. Yeah. All right. Um, would you, This is so ridiculous. But would you rather all your dreams play out in real time on Snapchat or... All of your most embarrassing moments go viral on TikTok. <laughs> um, of course, all my dreams play out in real time. Okay, well, yeah, because it's not like because your fault that you're dreaming that. Even if it's a weird ass dream. On oh, you talking about like dreams, like when I'm asleep? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like my aspirations play out. In no, Snapchat. your aspirations are too tailored for it to be anything bad. Right. My dreams, yeah. I think I'd rather my dreams play out. Yeah. I'd rather my dreams play out. Imagine your sure. embarrassing moments going viral on TikTok. Right. Well, you wouldn't even tell me your embarrassing moments, will you? Would you rather your embarrassing moments? Nah, man. Let my dreams go. I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't remember yeah. my dreams, so. Yeah, I don't remember. I have, like, pretty interesting dreams. Yeah. It's weird because, like, I be seeing things. Um, mm -hmm. You know, things come to me in my dreams. Like, I see visions. And do they happen in real life? Yeah, and they happen real time, so. Really? Yeah. Well, you're one of those guys. That's yeah, so, so I'd cool. actually like that for people to see some of the things that I'm that I'm able to see as Imagine well. Imagine if I just opened Dice's story and I just see Claire is about to be rich. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Maybe. Thanks for hitting me up on that. Maybe. <laughs> I think I'll lean towards the dream thing. Y'all will just have a ball. Cause yeah. what? All right. What would you say is your favorite thing about the music making process? About the music making process, it's um. I think one of my favorite things is just like being able to just be yourself and and see people adore that like mm. you know i sit in my room and and create something off the top from nothing literally. from nothing you know come up with certain melodies and certain words and and you just see how like it affects people's lives and, yeah. and you go to shows and and people are singing it back um that's one of my favorite things and and the fact that you could also like earn a living off of just doing that, doing that. and that's um and thing. you know you can take your people that are around you, um, you know, and just fix all the people's lives from just doing something that comes to you so naturally. Mm. Um, I think that's my favorite part. That's so cool, though. That's yeah. what I've seen a lot of people make music, and when I look back, let, let's say I make a video, for instance, and I look back at the point where there was no words on the melody, yeah, and then there was no addition to the beat. And then I see the magnificent record. And a lot of people that are even ingesting these songs, they have no idea the intricate details have been put underneath the, the backups, the... Ne yeah, but it's, it's more interesting when there's no real intricacy. Like, mm, like for a song ahead. like Ella, for example, like when I made it, it was very like, it was simple, a very simple, catchy. basic moment. You know, hotel room where like, I'm just like vibing. You just did and it. years later, like people are still trending on TikTok. Everyone's mm -hmm. telling me about... How like you know when they first fell in love, the yeah. song. Oh my god, that's what made so many women theme. fall in love with you. you. Know what I'm saying? Do you know what it is for you to? Did you fall in love with him? You, you ain't gonna put me on the spot. That's <laughs> what you're doing. Then no, you're not gonna put me. I know a few females that were in love with you. You know, back when you dropped uh, Ella. Ella, yes. Oh yeah, my god, she's so fun. Really oh. interesting. Lord, 
Rooting for you, rooting for you. <laughs> so, which social media platform would you choose to own, and what would you change about it if you could? Like, let's say you could own any of the social media <clears throat> platforms. What would you own, and what would you choose to change about it? I think I would own TikTok. Mm, what would you change about it? And I would change the idea that um, that music has to be promoted a certain way now. Mm. I feel like like it has done a lot of course it's been very beneficial to like music just transcending globally you know what i'm saying but i feel like it, it has done a lot to like watering the brand of like celebrities and people like the labels and and the execs everyone try to subject certain artists to just promote music a certain way and mm. it's taken away from like the essence of being a true artist you know what i'm saying it's like now it's it's all just like narrowed down to a challenge like Okay, we're oh. gonna we're gonna make music and and yeah, add dance. one sound to it just so that we can go and dance on TikTok. Mm. Um, I feel like you know I change it to the point where like we can go back to the days where you make music because you truly feel something and you're expressing something. Yeah, I get and that. you you know you're trying to pass a message to people for them to either you know use it for something in their lives. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'll do. If, I genuinely I... think, like, I'm with you on that because I feel like since the, I wouldn't say the inception of TikTok, but like since the viral part, like when people mm. clock the viral part, it kind of shaped how they were making the music. So they were no longer making music that was, you know, not necessarily time sensitive or music. Like Ella, for instance, like a song that you would still hear eight years from now and still bang to but like when the trend is over would you still bang to it though yeah and, and that's the thing like you know i like i like to make music that just feels natural to me like exactly. I, I don't like to be controlled like and i feel box. like yeah i feel like you know the idea of like virality and all this stuff is already starting to control mm. the way that music is created and you know like music for me is very spiritual mm. and you know yeah yeah, so it's like people are now taking music as content. It's it's now like it's just content. It's yeah, like it's, not it's like, like the a next soundtrack. Video that's going it's viral. like a soundtrack to something else. It's not necessarily what it, what it is, is and anymore. what I think it should be. I get what you're saying. I yeah. get what you're saying. So do you think you would? I mean, you just dropped Dice Baba. Do you think you'd be dancing on TikTok for us? I want to see you dance. <laughs> I want to see you yeah. shake. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> maybe I do. Because I mean, it is I the do times. Some, it's crazy. I used to dance a lot when I was younger. Like, what? Yeah. Break dance. Yeah, I used to break dance, and when we go to parties and stuff, they would like spray me money, ah, and I used were to be like kid. the center. Yeah, I was that kid. Oh my god! But I just grew up, and swag just took everything away. But you know, deep down in that shower, you'd be break dancing. <laughs> you know, you'd be dancing. I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna dance. I don't know. Okay, I'm looking forward. Yeah. You can bust some moves. Like I won't tell anybody. I'll keep your little secret. Yeah. Bust some moves to me. I was just about to ask, what is a secret talent that you have? Dancing, but another one. Secret talent, I don't know. Apart from dancing, because I had no clue you could break dance. Yeah, can you break dance? <laughs> yes. Show me. Oh my god. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> You're Pass, sick with it. Basically, you're passing the current. You're sick with it. Mm, 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 mm. You're sick with it. The steez. Thank you. Yeah, but um, secret talent, I don't know. Um, I, Like, I play soccer pretty well. Um, like a, you know, mm. like when I was younger, I also wanted to be a footballer. No oh, way. Um, so you're really good at football? Yeah, I'm really good Take at that. Take us out of this hood, boy. Um, I'm good at writing. Okay, um, I can tell. Like articles and stuff. Um, I used to write poems when I was younger. Mm. Um, it's a lot of things. I, I feel like I have a lot of talents that I never That's really a explored. vibe. That's a vibe. Yeah. So we're going to get into Never Have I Ever in a bit. And I feel like there's so much we're going to uncover from there. Yeah. But before we get right into it, what is a fact about you that has people a little surprised when they hear it? I'll be like, oh, hmm. Especially like the dance. dance I'm sorry. The dancing thing just has <laughs> me surprised. <laughs> but um, yeah, what is that fact about you that will have people a little shook if I found out? Maybe like your age? Um, what, what has people a little shook? That I'm, I'm a very big fan of like Yoruba movies. I watch a lot of those, and Are you every, time, every time I say it, people, people are confused. <laughs> Isn't the one that disappear and all that? Yeah, I really like to watch those. Um, why the the, the storyline? The... I don't even know. I feel like it just helps me stay like very connected to like oh yeah, it keeps the you culture. grounded. It keeps me yeah, grounded. and I I also I'm a big fan of like nostalgia, so it takes yeah. me back to like 
I when I was it. growing up. Africa magic and Afri- all that. Africa magic. So like those types of feelings I like to get from like watching Yoruba movies. Oh, that's so cute. So when was the last time you saw a Yoruba film? I feel like it just randomly pops up on my YouTube. Just, and you're just like, oh, just I'm going to watch that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot of times I'm not really paying attention because yeah. like there's too much going on. But just the idea that it's playing and, and I'm yeah, hearing Abdul Ade or I'm hearing some, yeah. some of these guys. Um, I just like to get that feeling. That's know? super cool. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. We know a little bit more about Dice Ales <laughs> than your Google told you. That's why you should be here, babes. All right. Let's go on a quick break. When I come back, I'm going to be asking him some never, have I ever questions. So please stick around. And we're back. When you see this bat, you know I'm about to hand it to my guest. So all he has to do is tell me if he has or if he has not. Just in case you're just joining in, what is wrong with you? I'm hanging with Dice and he's about to answer some... I'm supposed some... to hold the bat? Yes. Okay. So he's about to answer some never have I ever questions. That's pretty easy. Okay. Right? Okay. First question. Never have I ever been handcuffed and not by <laughs> law enforcement? I mean, I have not. You don't indulge in such such activities. But a lot of my guys do. Shout out to your guys. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever missed a flight. Oh, yeah. I'm All steady missing flights. So. <laughs> but I, what, what was your reaction the first time you missed a flight? I don't know. I don't even remember the first time. But You've done it a lot. Yeah, I, I always miss flights. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So you have, like, extra tickets for a lot of... Yeah, be, a lot of times you have to reschedule. They have to, like bong me out of the oh house God. like let's go oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> can't imagine like traveling as a civilian like home as a civilian compared to being a celebrity like oh my god it must be so hectic yeah it is hectic it is hectic i can't imagine but it's fun still yeah you know? it is seems like fun you never have i ever drunk doubt my ex sorry yeah i don't i don't have an ex hey facts that's my guy do i have an ex me neither but do you really not have an ex? I don't. I love that. I don't know if it's being sarcastic or being for real. But either way, I'm going to take it. And run with it. <laughs> Never have I ever gotten lost in a foreign country. No. Really? You I always know not. your way? No, it's like, there's just so much love everywhere I go. Like, okay. I can't get lost. And you, you have people I have around people you, everywhere. So. So. It's like, why are you getting lost? Can't yeah. you just call that guy? You always have a guy, I'm sure. Or a girl. Or a girl for something. Or like. girls. <laughs> yeah, emphasis yeah, on but I, I have haven't. no ex. <laughs> no, I haven't gotten lost. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have actually. Let me tell you a really funny I story. <laughs> I was in um, Kenya. Yes, I was in Kenya with Fave and the photographer at that time. Shout out to you, Lohi. Lohi is a panic ball, right? So any little thing, she just goes off and she's like, "Oh my God, what if? What Who, if? What that? if?" The, the photographer. photographer? Okay. Yeah. So. On this particular day, we were trying to get um, Nigerian food. I think it was like our na- last night in Kenya. We we're looking for Nigerian food. So we just had this driver. Remember, we had this issue with the the people that were with us. What do you guys call them? The chaperones. Yes, okay. right. We had an issue with the chaperones, so we had to get our own driver, right? Long story short, the driver took us to some random Nigerian restaurant, and he just took the manager. I was like, let me take him inside. So that you will go and see the, the restaurant is inside over there, just packed outside. I don't know where outside is. I don't know where I am. We waited there 15 minutes. The manager had not come back. And the place was like in a compound with like trees around. Mm. Before I knew it, I saw some people running. And then I saw a dog running after them. <laughs> and then I saw another dog. And then it was Lohi. So at first, before we saw the dogs, Lohi was like, oh, okay, what if, what if? And we're like, nah, Lohi, stop. You're just scaring everybody. The second we saw the dogs... Because we didn't know where we were. Hmm. We didn't know where the driver was. Where's the food? I don't even want it anymore. What's going on here? Long story short, we saw the dogs. We ran, but like, where are we running to? So we ran back to the Oh, car. the driver left you guys? Literally, the driver and the oh, manager. That's crazy. <laughs> and we could not run to leave the manager, but I had to run to save my life. So how did you so, leave there? I mean, I ran back to the car. I just <laughs> prayed, like, yeah. prayed to God. That's and, funny. And but I, I like it happened. in Nairobi, though. I don't like it there. <laughs> yeah, I've been there a couple of times. It's pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah. I... I, 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 I didn't enjoy myself. I wouldn't lie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried to, but no. <laughs> Never have I ever sent a stranger a drink. Oh, I have. 
Mm, I've been saying you doing your thing. I have. Tell me about it. Was it like a good Samaritan gesture? You just wanted to, say, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm serving people drinks all day. Like, I'm looking out for people all day. So, mm. so it's not a thing where you're like, send that pretty girl this cocktail. Nah, I don't really have to do that. Oh, what's your steez then? What you gotta do? <laughs> <laughs> gotta send drinks? No, to- but I, I, I think I have done that before. Like, you know, where like, there's like a group of people who's mm. having fun. I'm like, yeah, I like their vibe. Like, send them a drink? Yeah. Well, that day, you didn't send me any drink, oh. What day? You know the day I'm talking about. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> the day at the club. My vibe was club? tight. Remember, you were almost leaving. What day? I just trust, I have a bad memory. Censor this. Oh. You ain't sent me no drink. Nah, and my vibe was tight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I seen you that day. Who was you with? No, we're not going to talk about that. I mean, <laughs> that's why I didn't send you no drink. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You don't catch me. I don't catch me. You don't catch me. <laughs> Never have I ever convinced a friend to dump a partner. <laughs> I have still. Why? Did you catch him doing something bad? No, like, like I'm constantly telling my boys to be like men, you know? Like, <laughs> what is your definition of telling your boys to be like men? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I feel like the world tries to, like, feminize men. Oh, we're simping, I mean. Like, to try to be feminizing men mm. in, in this new generation, you know. Mm. And I'm very traditional. So, like, I, I be telling my boys, like, nah, don't do that, bro. Come on. Nah, leave that girl. <laughs> yeah. So, what is that thing that makes you draw the line when it comes to stuff like that? Like, don't make me over simp. Uh, yeah, like, just don't be overdoing it. Like, if, mm. if she's not really with it, you know, just leave it alone. It. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Sometimes you chase when it's worth it, but... You know, but it's it has to be for the right one. You know mm. what I'm saying? And if it's not the right one, you know, just let it go. So do you think you have the energy to chase anybody? Yeah, I mean, like, like we chase every day. Like, we hustlers. We out here doing everything. First, you know chasing the money? We're chasing the money. We're we chasing whatever we got to chase. Mm. You know, if it's worth it, of course, you got to you gotta chase it. First. You know what I'm saying? Rana, don't you all do that? Did you chase that man today? Chase that man today. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever cried or flirted my way out of a situation. Cried? Or flirted your way out of a situation. Or a pickle. <clears throat> like to cry your way out of a situation? Mm-hmm. No, or I've never, flirted I've your never way done out that. Of it. Flirted my way out of a situation. No. Oh, wow. I have. You have? Yeah, I think that would be like more of like a, a woman, thing, yeah. woman thing to do. Like. I mean, well, so men that have they've got some sort of steez and they're in some issue with their woman, they usually flirt their ways out. Like, I mean, let me take you to dinner. What do you think? Oh, makes sense. Mm. Okay, maybe yeah. maybe if you put it in that context, then maybe. Yeah, you did but that. it's, that's did it not work? exactly flirting. Like, did you take her to dinner? Not to not dinner, but I feel like like. Doing a gesture to get okay. out of a Okay, a no, situation. that's not flirting. I'm talking it's about not like exactly flirting. Fun. No. <laughs> so I've done that before. Mm. I've been just telling you all my secrets. You are. <laughs> this happened in the same... Why do I deserve all these secrets? It's the love. Dicey love Baba. Love Remember? Yeah. Love the records, by the way. <laughs> not me? I love the records. The right, Dicey cool. Baba. I can take that. It's okay. Thank you. So what happened that day was... Um, I, same Kenya. <laughs> I, was in the, I was in the damn airport. So I went there before my friends. And yeah. I don't know, man. They just don't really like Nigerians like that. Like in That's Kenya? what I heard. Yeah, that's what I heard, though. When I, got, when I was in that pickle. That's what I heard. They don't really like us. That's why. I don't know how true it was. So it was this thing with the um, uh, fever vaccine thing. Something about you didn't sign here. But I had like two other stopovers. And nobody gave me an issue till I got to Kenya. Long story short. Oh yeah, that's an actual thing though. I don't like know why the, they keep the doing the yellow that. fever cards. Well, it's just us apparently. They don't be doing it to other people. It's just we no, no, green passport having people. They do. People. Trust me, they do. I don't even know. That's what I was <laughs> hearing people whisper it. It's just because our passport is green or something like that. So long story short, the woman was like, "Okay, if I want to go, that's just give her two hundred dollars." What? Where do you want me to see two hundred dollars to give you? I don't understand. Like, and then she was like, "I should withdraw it." I have a naira card. She says they would give me dollars. How? Long story short, the woman delegated her um, fraudulent activities to another man, thankfully, that was working with her. So the man escorted me to the ATM because as I was going to the ATM, I, 
can't withdraw That's any crazy. fucking dollar, right? So the man escorted me to the ATM, and as we were walking, I was tearing up because I'd been there for like minutes. It was 5 a.m. I didn't want to be there. I was, and I cry easily, man. So I genuinely was just about to cry. Do I was like, well, what was wrong with you? And I was like, I'm just really stressed out. Was so it your first time in Kenya? I was like, yeah. So you know any Swahili? <laughs> and I was like, just Nakupenda. Which means I love you, by the way. And then he's like, are you telling me Nakupenda? And I said, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so i know to tell everyone now that's how you get out of of a situation Imagine, like that in nairobi am i telling him like a panda and i said yes and he was like oh i've blushed a bit begged the woman on my behalf and then i left without paying a penny so flirts today yeah okay did you guys exchange numbers or no. it just ended there please no and what keeps taking you to nairobi what keeps taking like that was just the only time oh okay so imagine one trip that i said three days all of this happened why the oh. hell would i like the place i hear you i hear you it was a lot it was a lot now i've just made the interview about me look at nah, that it's all right <laughs> never have i ever been hospitalized for something other than being born and i have i have been was it like anything serious <clears throat> um i mean we we have fallen sick sometimes yeah, you know we all anything, get okay. those yeah all right, all right. Before we get into your project, right? You know how I asked you if you've ever sent a stranger a drink? Mm -hmm. Has anybody ever sent you a drink? Because in the end, like we women, we be doing our thing too. Mm -hmm. We be flirting. Are you, you, you good looking? So I'm sure some women will be like, that boy, he will be mine. <laughs> and then send you a drink over. Has anybody ever done that? Yeah, I've had that. How often do you have that? Not very often because I'm not... I'm not always like yeah. in the clubs. Fair enough. You know, like uh, I like to be home more. Mm -hmm. but, but the times that you're outside. A couple of times. The women's show. Happened. I'm proud of you, ladies. You did that. <laughs> Do more of that, okay? I just might not be talking about us anyhow. I love that. Yeah. But you accepted it, right? Yeah, why not? It's, it's a, a nice it's gesture. A sweet, sweet gesture. Okay, okay. So, Dice, what's new with you? Give me the tea. You just yes. dropped the project. Yeah. Tell me a little <clears> about it. Yeah, um, Dicey Baba is out. I'm excited. You know, it's been a long time coming. We've been working on the project mm -hmm. um, for so long now. We've been working on my label, my company, TMM. We've been mm -hmm. working on the structure and just putting everything in place, um, you know, working on the team. And um, I'm just grateful to God for the blessings, you know, mm -hmm. that keep coming my way. You know, the fans too. Like, every time that I come, it's always like every I never time. left. It's like you never left. Um, you know, there's been a lot of challenges behind the scenes um with structure but what would you say is the most challenging thing about it though and what would you say is the most challenging about it but before we get into that you said your label is called t tmm entertainment what what does tmm mean the money mug can i join sure why not okay i got money now we'll find you we'll find your role there okay um <clears throat> can i be the accountant what you say the accountant we already have accountants that's it? That's what Can't you want to do? talk about it later then. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah. uh, what would you say is the hardest thing about building a structure within a label? I think one of the hardest things with um, building a structure is just working with like different individuals with different individualities mm. and, and personalities different and, well. and different intents and, you know, just sort of trying to merge a bunch of different people mm. from different backgrounds in, in one structure to achieve the same goal. And, um, you know, a lot of times you, you have to approach things from a very, um, from a very um, logical standpoint, you know, mm -hmm. but we're all emotional beings and, and it's hard to separate, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that has been one of like the major challenges, just mm -hmm. sort of keeping everybody together, In you track. know, just to achieve yeah. the goal. And, and, and right now I have a very big team. So um, how's that been so far, though, especially with the big team, because it's a lot. It's been really interesting. It's been an interesting experience. Um, but I feel like, I, you know, every challenge that I went through, you know, in all these years up until this moment has sort of like built me mm -hmm. and gotten me ready for it. Um, so a lot of things that, that happen within the team and within the structure are things that I'm already sort of like used to. Yeah, because you've so, experienced it. Yeah, so, you know, I'm thankful that I'm thankful for the experiences, um, okay. you know, to be able to deal with certain things um, from a professional standpoint. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. So you dropped Dicey Baba. Tell me a little about the project. Like what made you pick those specific songs and put them together? And you were like, you know what? 
let's give them this project, this plate of goodness. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just feel like, you know, it's a new phase. Um, it's a new phase for Dice, from Dicey to Dicey Baba. Mm. I feel like, you know, um, we've done a lot of things over the years to impact the industry. And, yes. and, and the newer generation of Afrobeat artists, you know, whether we speak about it or not. Yeah. Um, the you influence know, is there. I feel like we, we've influenced a lot of things over the years. Um, you know, I hear me and a lot of newer artists, um, and, and it's really flattering, you know, to see. Um, um, that, for me, has been a marker that we've done something really amazing. Mm -hmm. um, even in my silence, you know, I, I, I see, you know, the messages. I, I, I hear me even when I'm not on the radio. Yeah. I hear me in another artist, and I hear me, you know, the, even the media is supporting and stuff. And so mm -hmm. I felt like I needed to give the fans confidence um and 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 the project just embodies that confidence in mm. in who they think i am okay. and who i think i am as well and that's really what dicey baba is about okay okay so would you like say it's like a full-on rebrand from because you said from dice to dicey baba yeah would you say it's like a rebrand type of situation or you're still sticking to who you were it's just like growth yeah i think it's more so growth growth than um, a change yeah because like you know at the time that i was dicey you know, like, um, even though, like, I, I was doing a lot of things independently, mm. you know, I was within the oh, you structures. you were independent that time? No, I was, that's what I'm saying. Like, I was within the structures of, of a label. Yeah. And, um, but I, I was just growing and, and learning things. Um, but now there's a, there's a whole lot of difference to who I was back then mm. as an artist, as a business individual, as a man, yeah. as spiritually, you know, just all around like i feel like there's a lot of growth and there's a there's a lot of difference to who i am and yeah i'm here for it i can see it actually I what can, can you see I, I can tell that um even though we never had a conversation back in the day because I, I told you before that i <laughs> have met you in the past right there's something that i like to say doesn't lie which is aura you can tell when a person's carriage is different you can tell when a person kind of like sees a version of themselves that wasn't there before if you know what i mean mm -hmm. and you can just feel it when the person walks into the room really so because i've been around you back then mm -hmm. and then i was around you again now i'm like there's something different and then you saying this kind of just made it stick that it is the growth i was sensing in the aura that kind yeah. of made me feel that there was something different thank you yeah and, and um, i'm really really appreciative like of the industry and the fans like it's it's crazy, it's crazy. Like, i saw you on stage like a couple <coughs> of years ago and the people nuts and you're like what 2015 the song was yeah like it's crazy because like you know it's, it's easy to get lost in in all the craziness um that comes with you know the industry and and just being famous at a very young mm -hmm. age and and um and you, you can lose you can lose your confidence you know yeah. just experiencing certain things that that comes with the industry mm -hmm. um but i'm appreciated to the fans because no matter where i go no matter how long i go for Every time that I come back, it's, the love is like always 100. Left. It's like I, I never left, you know? Like, mm. I sing Ella and it feels like it's a brand new song. That's I sing insane. A La Cori, it feels like it's a brand new song, you know? It keeps, it's, like, ringing back. Anytime yeah. I hear 2015, 2014, I'm just like, it, it sounds like yeah. it was yesterday. Wow. Yeah, it feels like that, you know? And, and I keep seeing, all, like, all the DMs. You know, the fans are really angry. Like, how do you let this guy how jack you your style? That. And, um, <laughs> but would you I mean, say there's any artist right now that, you know, when, you know when this guy Shoulder Boy was like, he copied my flow. <laughs> would you yeah. say there's any artist that you can say that? About that copied his, my flow? Yeah. I mean, we all know. Like, we all know. I mean. Yeah. It's a lot of them, man. But it's, it's I'm not even mad. It's like, flattering, actually. It is. Like, it's, it's really nice to watch. Like, mm -hmm. Like, if they're not copying you, then your then style not is not really popping. Good. You know what exactly. I'm saying? So, um, like, I like that, you know, that there's people that sound like Dice, that want to dress like Dice, so mm -hmm. want to move like Dice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Now, Dicey Baba is back. <laughs> Period. Yeah. So, before we wrap up, thank you so much for pulling up, by the way. I Let me report to myself. I kept him waiting. Like, oh. Yeah, she kept me waiting in, in, a, it in was the parking fault, lot though. for, like, an hour, 30 minutes. It wasn't even that long. It wasn't that long? To me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just lying. I it forgive wasn't. you, though. Thank you. Yeah. I'm a good girl. <laughs> but before we wrap up, right, what yeah. would you 
tell your fans that have been knocking in your DMs and been expecting you like, fam, where are you? Why would you do this to us? What would you like to tell them right now if they're watching? Um, yeah, like I never left, man. Um, I was always here. Um, I, I always just knew that it was a matter of time that we will reunite and Aww. we will rekindle our love. Um, it sounds like a love letter. You know, <laughs> I'm always with you as you've always been with me and you know, it's all love and we're here, man. We're taking over. Taking over. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for pulling up dice. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching this far. If you want to catch me off air, what's online? You can reach me on K L A I R E O N Y E K A and follow us at This Is Pop Central. You know how to find him. He is Dice Hales. I mean, like, duh. <laughs> but, anyways, I'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.